Hi and welcome to this week's video. So this week I've bought myself a new laptop. When I say new, a refurbished laptop. So I bought it from this business uh, new and used laptop for you. I got a discount code whilst on eBay, so I bought the price down to $152.99. I didn't think it was too bad a price considering the spec on it. My old laptop's been struggling a bit, so it's time to um, go for a bit of an upgrade. Got delivered within three days, which isn't too bad. Came in a nice big solid box, and it comes with nice solid protection inside. Also comes with a power pack, which is obviously good to have. So straight off, you can see a few little marks on the top, but it's to be expected. It does come with a little leaflet with basic instructions. First impressions, to be honest, it looks pretty good. It looks quite clean. Also, just a quick note that this isn't any kind of a pay promotion. This is me buying the item with my own money and doing an unofficial official review, warts and all. So first time turn on, and obviously it needs setting up, so this will take a little bit of time. I mainly use my laptop for video editing, so I decided to go for an i7 with 16 gig of RAM. So hopefully that should give it a little bit more oomph and a bit more speed. So quick look around the edges and it does look a little bit dirty. I'll give it a wipe over in a bit just to double check. So we'll just get a nice little clean cloth on it. Just to give it a once over around the edges. And as you can see, the dirt straight off, which isn't a great first impression. Just give the keyboard a bit of a wipe as well. So I'm going to open it up, I might as well check what the thermal paste is like. So just take the screws out. The back clips off nice and easy. Straight off, dusty fan, so it looks like no one's been in. I'm going to upgrade this in a future video. And a loose wire. I genuinely do not know what this wire is for. If anyone has an idea, just let me know in the comments. So, battery disconnect pulls up, and then there's six screws to take the fan and heat sink off. Oh, and look at that. That's not fresh paste. So it's pretty much as dry as you can be. That's obviously from the factory. No one's changed that any time in the past couple of years. So it needs a good scraping to get it all off. And a bit of thermal paste remover to get the excess. Again, not a great second impression from this refurbished laptop. So I've been using this Honeywell PTM 7950 thermal pads for a while now on previous laptops. Um, it's really good. You just cut to size and then place it on, on instead of thermal paste. And it really does bring the temperatures down from previous experience. It can sometimes be a little bit hard to separate. But you just got to take your time so you don't rip it. Then you place it on and then peel off the backing. Then put it back together. Six screws back in. No need to over tighten. Battery back on too. Don't forget that. Back cover on. All the screws back in. Comes with a backlit keyboard, which is nice. Another little extra I wasn't expecting. And to be fair, the keys don't really look overly worn either, which is also nice. There was a small chip on the screen, but again, probably to be expected from a refurbished laptop. So my final thoughts, it was quick delivery. There are a few marks on the top, but again, that's to be expected. The more sticker marks rather than any kind of damage. And the underneath is pretty much clean. There's no major damage to that either. The inside, other than a small scratch stroke chip on the screen, which isn't really noticeable, especially when the screen's on. Um, it's in really good condition inside. It boots nice and quick. Officially, it doesn't work with Windows 11, but there's a workaround which I'll show in another video. And I have, I have installed Windows 11 on this and it works really, really quickly. The screen's nice and bright, 1080p. And shows good colours. So 
So this is the spec, this is shown, it's shown Windows 11 Pro. So would I recommend it? Yeah, at the moment, so far, yes. It's a decent spec, it was the cheapest I could find, couldn't find anything locally any cheaper. Obviously, the fact that it's dirty isn't a great thing. The fact that the thermal paste hasn't been changed could be a major issue, especially when you're going to be maxing out like what I'm going to be doing. And I'm also not sure about that loose cable inside, but everything so far seems to be working fine. So I'm still not quite sure what it does. So overall, I am happy. I'm glad I got it. I'm going to start using it more and more over the next couple of weeks as I transfer my stuff over. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.